welcome back to Pseudo Gameplay TV for episode 3 of our Pokemon Shield Let's Play. Now where we had left off in our last episode, we had our second battle with Hal, received the champion endorsement, and uh, we've expanded the team a little bit uh, to include Subtle, the Grookey, Evil Surprise, the Rookadee, and Beyond Bliss, the Choodle. Um, really happy with how the team's put coming together so far, but let's go ahead and continue forward and see what else we'll run into. Here we are at the train station. So, out with it, Pseudo. How many did you catch? I caught a real special one, and you got... No, one. What were you doing this whole time? You're going to want a team if you're a trainer. Well, that's just it, Hop. I've got a team. I just put it together before running back, because there's nothing else I want on this first route. That's a technical machine. A TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. And our train's waiting, so let's go. All right, off to Motostoke we go. Motostoke is surrounded by a vast wild area. It's a real sight. There's all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about, everywhere you look. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Hey, Mr. Station Master. Isn't this the wild area? What are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train has halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! What is? This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon to battle here. You get it, don't you, Pseudo? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team. Alright, if, if you say so. And there's the Wooloo blocking the train tracks there. That's Motostoke, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonia. My gran gave me a proper earful, in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting off on a journey. But what are you doing with your life? That sounds rough. Ah, uh, never mind you that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I'd been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I'd been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit that I've got some talent. Yikes, being an adult has its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough it outside again. Well, I'm off to stick my head in as many of those red glowing dens as I can find. I'm going to battle the snot out of a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill another page in the tale of my legend. Alright, well don't come crying to me when they kick your trash. What cheek. Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You'd bet to Dynamax your partner Pokemon too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. Let's go wandering out, out here in the wild area then, see what we can find. Hey, that's a little Growlithe.
So for this video's comment contest, we're going to go ahead and name this Growlithe Catastrophe. And if you can guess what song this name comes out of, I'll be sure to pin your comment in the link or in the comments down below so everyone can know what it came from. But let's go ahead and assign that nickname and continue forward. All right, so for this Machop that we've just caught and added to the team, uh, we're going to go ahead and insert another song lyric as a name. This one is going to be Survivor. So if you can guess what song this came out of and put it in the comments down below, I will pin it if you get it correct. Um, that and the name that we picked for our Growlithe. So either one of those, feel free to leave them in a comment down below. So there's a lot of things just hanging out around here in the wild area. Um, if you look down around, you will see big Pokemon. Uh, it's scary Pokemon as well because they're very strong, just roaming around. And they will try and single you out if you get too close. Um, but up here underneath the bridge, I guess that you can see that we're under. Uh, you can't really see, but well, I guess there's the bridge that comes through. But up here in the corner, I believe is that uh, yeah, uh, Firestone, which will be really, really useful once we have our Growlithe up at a, up at a higher level. Yeah, because now we can get Catastrophe up to being an Arcanine on our terms, though I am probably going to wait until she learns Flamethrower before we do that. But we're decently close to the point where we need to go, so let's go ahead and head back over that way. I'm going to have to cross over this bridge again. And this is an area where most of even the wild Pokemon that are just rumbling around in the grass are pretty powerful. So we're going to avoid them. And do keep an eye out for just uh, little shines that spark up around trees. Because you can find a multitude of different items there. Everything from mushrooms that can be sold. I even found an Ultra Ball wandering around out here. So uh, keep an eye out for those shines there. And then these dens, if there's not a big sky beam coming out of them, you can come up and interact with them as long as they've got this red glow. And you can collect 50 watts, I guess is what the unit's called. And that can then be traded to trainers like this that just kind of hang out around in the wild area. And here we are in Motostoke. Looks pretty awesome. I like how the city's come together and it's designed after the clink line apparently. Let's see if we can make it to this Poka Center real quick because my team's in some rough shape. Hey, over here! It looks like Sonia was waiting there for us anyway. Real ace of you to make it through the wild area. Seems like your trek ran your Pokemon ragged, though. You should pop into the Pokemon Center. All right, now that we're done there, let's take a quick detour over this way. So, brilliant young trainer who's braved the wild area. Do you remember what your goal in Motostoke is? It's the gym challenge. Yep, the gym challenge is opening ceremony. By the way, the ceremony tomorrow is being held at the Motostoke Stadium, okay? I'd surely never make it to the stadium without you to show me the way, partner. Even with a huge old thing like this bang in the middle of the city, I still get lost. Pseudo, all right? One look tells me that you've become a trainer worthy of that endorsement I gave you. Let's go ahead and zip our way up to the top here and talk to Mr. Ball Guy. Maybe. Nope, can't. You made it too. Motostoke Stadium, this is where the opening ceremony will be held. 
Everyone will be watching the opening ceremony for the gym challenge. My mom, your mom, the whole world. It's getting me a bit nervous, really. Nah, this isn't nerves. I'm only trembling because I'm so excited. Come on, Sudo. It's time the world learned our names. If you're here to register for the gym challenge, I'll need to see your endorsement, please. Fancy that. This is the first time we've had a challenger endorsed by the champion. Well, now you... Well, now you've had two, because I am as well. What? Two of you at once? I wonder what's come over Leon this year. The two of you must be something special. I'm Hop. I'm Leon's little brother, in fact. And the next champion. Get me all signed up, would you? Well, well yes, I'm trying to. If you'll just give me a moment. The opening ceremony for the gym challenge is to be held here tomorrow. All the trainers taking part have been booked a room in the nearby Badoo Drop-In. Hiya. Looks like you both got yourselves registered. Oh, hey, Sonia. What are you doing at our hotel? I'm researching the mysterious Pokémon that are said to be in the slumbering well. I reckon if I look into some of Gala's legends, I might figure something out. Care to join me? You're already here anyway. What's this then? It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Gala region. I could run through the legend right quick if you fancy. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by a gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero bearing a sword and a shield. This statue is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. And what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Gala. I suppose that tracks with it being called the darkest day, but still. Huh. I suppose that the hero must have been about as strong as Lee, then. Looks like you're going to have your hands full with plenty of research, though, Sonia. Black storms and swords and shields and all. All right, well, it looks like we're about to have a run-in with Team Yell here. We came all the way out to this big city so that we could properly cheer on gym challenges. Team Yell is here to help, after all. You're in for a battle if you want to stop us. I'm up for that. Didn't we tell you, mate? You get in our way, and you're f in for a battle. Team Yell's all about helping. Helping one very special trainer win the gym challenge, that is. We want to make sure she gets cheered on nice and proper. And now you're going to help us make some noise. We're looking for a fight, and I lost. I'm so pathetic. Oi, give me a break here. Team Yell, get revenge for me, would ya? Of course I got you covered, mate. What could be better than a battle in a lovely hotel lobby? I must have got a bit carried away, being in this swanky hotel and all. Sorry for getting in your way. Oh man. This swanky, sophisticated air in here had me off my game. I couldn't keep my cool. I wasn't expecting checking in would be such a big fuss, Sudo. What's going on? Sneaking in some Pokemon battles without me? Don't think you can get ahead of me that easily. I need to get some training in, so I'm joining. I can already hear my victory coming. 
The only sound you'll make is a whimper of defeat. My voice is unsure when I'm sad. I want to yell, but I'm unsure. I came to see the gym challenge opening ceremony, but this is awful. Right, well, let's check into the hotel and call it a night. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and call it here for today's episode. Thanks for watching and for supporting. Be sure to drop a like and leave a comment on what you think the origin of the names for Survivor and Catastrophe are from. If you get it right, I'll be sure to pin your comment down below so everyone knows what it came from. Thanks again, and we hope to see you in the next one. Take care.